The Great and the Good were out in force in Hollywood last night for the 87th Academy Awards, or Oscars. We know who won the statuettes, but who wore the best dress? Here we show you the good, the bad, and the what on earth were you thinking? Lady Gaga's scene-stealing style didn't disappoint, arriving at the ceremony in a stunning custom-made Azadine Alaya piece that took a team of 25 three weeks to complete. The dress certainly turned heads, but the red leather gloves had jaws dropping, causing an almost immediate flurry of parodies on social media. Reese Witherspoon bared her shoulders in a full-length Tom Ford ice blue gown with black velvet straps. She looked so good, even the Queen of Cool couldn't resist a quick selfie. Best Actress winner Julianne Moore shone in an Academy Award-worthy chic Chanel ivory sequined gown, designed especially for the Oscar favourite by King of Couture, Karl Lagerfeld. British nominee Felicity Jones also opted for ivory, this time by Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen. A heavily embellished bodice and full floor-sweeping satin skirt worked extremely well with Felicity's simple makeup and swept-up hair. Marianne Cotillard chose to wear an off-white sequined gown by Christian Dior. Simple lines in front gave way to a cleverly gathered bag, producing an unexpected elegant train. The winner of last year's Best Supporting Actress Oscar, Lupita Nyong'o, carried off a show-stopping Calvin Klein collection gown, featuring 6,000 cascading strands of pearls paired with equally stunning Chopard jewels. Last year, Kate Blanchett collected her second Oscar in an epic, gold-embellished Armani Couture gown, paired with jewellery that cost an incredible $18.1 million. This year, she opted for a more subtle look in a sophisticated John Galliano dress with a statement Tiffany & Co turquoise necklace. Sienna Miller fell for Oscar de la Renta's Fall 2015 collection in a gown shown just four days ago at New York Fashion Week. Best Supporting Actress Patricia Arquette stepped out in a one-shoulder black-and-white gown, showing her own support for designer and childhood best friend Rosetta Getty. America Ferreira floated across the red carpet in an airy floor-length Jenny Packham gown, accessorising with the perfect pair of Irene Neuwirth turquoise drop earrings. Gwyneth Paltrow divided opinion in a pale pink one-sleeved Ralph and Russo gown featuring a large rosette. While this look wowed some critics, others likened it to a homemade Barbie dress. However, her choice of jewellery had everyone firmly on side, with an Anna Hu Haute Joillerie $3 million 55.9 carat ring paired with $425,000 Far Phoenix earrings. Jessica Chastain radiated old-style Hollywood glamour in a midnight blue gown by Givenchy, paired with a Piaget necklace. Scarlett Johansson looked nothing short of stunning in a figure-hugging forest green Versace gown, complementing the plunging neckline with a vibrant green necklace. Whilst Anna Kendrick chose a coral tacoon frock featuring a jewelled collar and Norman Silverman jewellery. Dakota Johnson opted for a crimson Saint Laurent dress for her first major red carpet appearance after the Fifty Shades of Grey opening, pairing the look with a sleek ponytail and accessorising with Hollywood great, her mum, Melanie Griffiths. Rosamund Pike also opted for red, wearing a crimson Givenchy gown with textured floral motif and finishing the look with perfectly matched lipstick and heels, certainly one of the standout looks of this year's award season. While many of the dresses last night revealed shoulders, cleavage and many, many thighs, those who were prepared to risk it all in sheer seemed to make the most impact. Margot Robbie stole the crowd's attention early in the night in a plunging Saint Laurent dress with see-through chiffon sleeves completing the look with a statement Van Cleef & Arpels necklace made in the 1930s for the Duchess of Windsor. 
Irina Sheik abandoned any sense of subtlety arriving at the Vanity Fair Oscars party in a very revealing floor-length black atelier Versace gown. All eyes were drawn to more cutaway than you might think possible, but her look was cunningly kept together by a sheer mesh catsuit. Shyness failed to stand in the way for Rita Ora, whose style definitely got more daring as the evening progressed, firstly rocking the red carpet in a cleverly sculpted custom-made midnight blue Marchesa gown, featuring fishtail and carefully placed intricate gold embroidery. For her performance of best original song Grateful, she continued to delight in a cream ball gown with form-fitting black bustier top. For the Vanity Fair after party, Rita gave new meaning to the word daring in a sheer Donna Karen dress that left absolutely nothing to the imagination. It'll be interesting to see how that one filters its way down to the high street. Want to see more? Click on our subscribe button.